What's up everybody, welcome to MyPixel. As always, it's awesome to have you here. Today we're going to make our game work with a gamepad. I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there that would rather play with a gamepad than a keyboard, so let's go ahead and make it happen. To start off, let's first take a look at our current code to see how we programmed in our controls for our player. We'll jump into our player here and into our script. If we take a look down, we'll see where we used code for our inputs. So we can see here we have a UI write. If action press, UI write. We also have a UI left. That's how we got our right and left. We had a jump, which we use a UI up for. And lastly, we used UI focus next to shoot our fireball. With this information that we have here now, we can make our game work with a gamepad without even adding a single line of code. So to do that, we're going to go into our project settings. So we're going to click on project, project settings. When we go inside of here, we have our general tab. We have the input map tab. So go ahead and click that. Right? And then we can see that we have all these different UI actions defined for us. If we go down, under UI left, scroll this up here, under UI left, we can see that we already have two different inputs that qualify as a UI left. For one, we have the left arrow key on the keyboard. And for two, we have something that just over here says device zero button 14. I think we're in luck because device zero button 14 just happens to be our gamepad. So thank you, Godot. Similarly, we see that UI right and UI up both also come with a predefined input for a controller and a D-pad. Now what this means is that right off the bat, we should be able to move left, right, and jump with our gamepad without doing anything else. So let's try it out. All right, here we go. We can jump up and down, right, just as we would have expected from taking a look at that input map. But uh, you can't see my, my hands here, but I'm spamming all the buttons on the controller and there's nothing assigned to a fireball, right? So we're gonna need to change that. So first, let's go ahead and just jump out of our game. And let's go back into our project settings and input map here. Project settings, we're already in input map, okay. So as you can see, we have UI focus next. The only input that's currently assigned to the UI focus next is tab. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add an input. For that, we're just going to see UI focus next, go all the way, follow it down here, click this plus symbol here. And we can add a keyboard key, a joy or gamepad button, an access or a mouse button. Right now, we're just going to use a button on our controller. So we'll select Joy button. And then as you can see in here, under Joypad button index, we have a whole bunch of button indexes that are in here for us to use. Right, from 0 to 15. So 16 different buttons, some of them including the D-pad, those kind of as buttons also. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add this button index 1, which will also correspond to a PlayStation circle button, the Xbox controller button, the button B, or if you're using a Nintendo controller, it could be button A. Now today I'm using the Xbox One wireless slash Bluetooth controller, which I'll leave a link to in the description in case you want to use the same one. But if you're using a gamepad from a different vendor, the buttons may or may not align to the same button locations on some of the more popular controllers such as the Xbox and PlayStation ones. If that's the case, you may just have to do some research and experimenting to find the button index number of the button you would like to use. That being said, let's go ahead and finish our selection. We'll select one and then we'll click the add button. And we'll see it appear in here, right? So UI focus next now can use the tab key and also this device zero button one, which is, we just assigned. So let's close it out and then run our game to see if it works.
Okay, jump up and down. Here we go. Let's shoot this guy. Okay, our fireballs come out, right? Just like we needed to. All right, sweet. It doesn't get much easier than this. But since we're using a gamepad now, we might not like the current control setup. I originally used the up arrow for the jump button because I thought it was easier to use when you're using a keyboard for the controls. But using up on the D-pad of a controller to jump is usually only how fighting games work, while platformers usually use a dedicated jump button. So let's see, should, should we change this? Alright, let's go ahead and do it. For that, we're going to need to jump back into our input settings. Okay, project settings and our input map. Okay, and if we take a look at the top here, we find this UI accept. And we can see here that UI accept conveniently has a gamepad button input for button zero or the A button assigned. So let's go ahead and use that. Right? Since it's already assigned in here, we don't need to touch anything in the input map. Now we're just going to need to change our script a little bit. So we're going to jump back into our player. Here's our player script. And we need to find our code for the jump. Right. Previously, we were right here. Previously, we used the UI up. Now, just to check again, right? we're trying to use, instead of UI up, we're trying to use UI underscore accept. So this is what we're going to need to type in, right? UI underscore accept. So we'll go in here, we'll just delete the up, replace that with accept, and we should be ready to go. So let's run our game again and see if everything works. Okay, let's try it out. We can jump using the button. You're just going to have to take my word for it, folks. Sorry. But we can jump with the A button. We can shoot our fireball with the B button. Looks pretty good. Now we're feeling right at home with our platformer. We've got the familiar gamepad in our hands and we have familiar platformer controls. Now that went pretty well, if you ask me. Godot makes it really easy to utilize a gamepad with our games. Personally, I'm much more of a console gamer than a PC gamer, so I'm more than happy to be able to get a gamepad back into my hands. The Xbox One wireless controller that I use today is probably the most recommended gamepad for PC gamers. I don't actually own an Xbox One, so I actually went out and purchased this controller just for these tutorials. After using it, I can see why it's so popular. Xbox has gone through many iterations over the years and their controller keeps getting better and better and the Xbox One version is the best yet. If by chance you want to pick one up for yourself, I'll make sure to leave a link in the description to the same one that I'm using today. And that's going to be it for today ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope you found this helpful. If you liked today's video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. As always, the project folder for today's episode and all other episodes in this series are available for download on my Patreon page. You can go there and simply download the zip file, extract the project folder, and you'll have exactly what you've seen in this video today. So if you want to check that out and also support the channel, the link will be in the description. And with that, we will call it a day. So thank you again to everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Take it easy.